What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Monday edition of the Pandemic Update for Monday, March 4th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily Pandemic Update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. If you want to help keep yourself safe, informed, and in the know with what's going on with all these viruses that are spreading in the United States and around the world, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this a thumbs up. And if you want to help keep other people safe, by all means, share these videos with anyone you know. All right, starting off today, we do have a few news stories to talk about. Then we're going to take a look at some BNO news data and some other data as well. And, of course, we're going to take a look at some wastewater sites. Now, we don't have Walgreens data in yet. Probably doesn't come in for another couple hours. We're a little bit early with today's update, but maybe we'll try and get that in tomorrow. All right, starting off internationally today with New Zealand. COVID-19 update for New Zealand. They have 5,557, or excuse me, 5,575 new cases and 21 deaths reported in the last week. That is slightly down from the previous numbers that they reported, and that is for March 4th, Monday, March 4th. That is their new update there. All right, now taking a look at measles. Measles case count up to 41 across 16 states, CDC reports. So that number in the United States, it continues to rise. The previous number for the previous week was 35 cases in 15 states. And as you know, right now, the most active state is quickly becoming Florida because Florida has a well, if you have exposure, if you're, you can go out and you do you. You know, the Florida Surgeon General is not really taking what's going on in his state all that seriously. And I suspect this outbreak is going to continue to grow. Wouldn't surprise me if by April across the United States we come close to or pass the 100 mark. It's just the way things are rolling right now. Uh, February saw a significant increase in the United States. All right, we always see these news sources try to uh, uncover hmm, what health illnesses are going on in the community and it, it's just always so silly this is in the houston they put what's going round and it says spring illness have you under the weather congestion drainage itchy scratchy throat i mean so now we're going to call it spring illness each season has a different uh name for covid flu whatever the case may be more times than not it ends up being covid and they put spring illness who remembers back in 2020 yeah we're going all the way back to the summer of 2020 back in the first year of the pandemic they talked about oh a lot of people have a summer cold yeah i remember a ton of people saying that they had a summer cold in the middle of summer when we know covid was going up there was a summer wave that summer then there was a winter wave and well now i've lost track of how many waves there are. Some areas are close to wave 10 now. It's getting totally ridiculous, but looks like if there is a wave in the spring, we can already see that one news outlet's going to say it's spring illness, and they're, it's, it's just totally ridiculous. And I'm looking here, I don't even see the word COVID mentioned. No, I'm seeing allergies and congestion mentioned. And we do know, as of recently, Houston had elevated wastewater levels, and they still have yet to fully come down from the winter surge. All right, let's take a look at some BNO news. Weekly U.S. COVID update. New cases are estimated to be around 175,658. That's a decent-sized drop. The average is 204,035. That's down by 18,000. Remember, these are just reported and guesstimates. I'll explain the guesstimate part in a moment. This does not include what wastewater suggests the actual levels could be. We know the actual levels are much higher. They're probably still around somewhere between 600,000 and 800,000 cases a week, probably close to that 600,000 mark. Now, states reporting 50 out of 50. That's the way they reported it. But again, I'll explain down below. In the hospital, 15,735. That's a big decrease. In the ICU, down by 90. Uh, 1,817 new deaths, 1,652. Let's add that into our calculator, 1,652. Remember that number now. 
and the average is 1,833. That's down by 229. That's dropping pretty good. The breakdown for this week's case numbers. This is where I explain now. Reports are from 22 states. The estimate is actually from 28 states. Yeah, they're estimating 28 states. That's a lot of states not reporting. Today's total is down 6% from last week. Cases and hospitalizations are down from this winter's peak, but remain elevated across the U.S. with increases in some states. Deaths remain elevated as well. This week, the CDC issued the new guidelines for moving to five-day isolation. Yes, we know about that. We've been all over it since Friday. And it also says this. During the past week, 17,310 Americans were hospitalized with COVID, down 10% from the week before close to 16,000 people are currently hospitalized this is the 25th week in a row with more than 1,000 new deaths or nearly 43,000 deaths during the same period wow that's a lot of deaths and mind you we've been over a thousand deaths a week since the the backside of last summer's surge so yes this is a really long time and the cases at that point started going up as in july of last year they have been elevated ever since and never have gone back to the spring of last year's levels yet. Hopefully we get to that at some point, maybe coming in the spring, because right now things are continuing to drop. So far this year, 3.4 million cases of COVID-19 have been, quote, reported. Again, not including what wastewater suggests they really are. 194,000 hospitalizations already this year. That 194,000 number alone is enough to justify that the CDC guidance that they just put out on Friday is absolute bullcrap, bunk. I don't want to say a curse word, but you get the idea. Not happy about it, but a lot of people are not happy about it. 194,000 hospitalizations already this year, and we're only at the third month of the year on March 4th. We got the rest of the year to go. At this rate, we hit 500,000 people hospitalized, hospitalized because of COVID this year. You know what? It's possible. Who knows what the rest of the year holds? And already 19,000 deaths this year, which is terrible. All right. Remember that 1,652 COVID deaths? Well, add another 1,000 to that. Because guess what? Here's the flu update. Estimated 1 million cases. Average is down. That's 1.5 million. That's down. Uh, hospital admissions, 10,000. New deaths, 1,000. There you go. So just between COVID and flu this week, 2,652 deaths, not including RSV or any other respiratory virus in the United States. Yep, 2,652 deaths added. Totally, totally ridiculous. It didn't have to be that way, but hey, the you do you is part of the reason why we're in this problem. All right, let's take a look at my website now, datareport.info. I made a change. I think you're going to like this. A lot of people like to look up information. I always see people... Uh, asking on Twitter, do you know where you can find such and such information? Well, my website's a wrap. It doesn't have everything. There's a lot of studies that are not there. I mean, there's believe it or not, there's actually thousands of studies on this virus, COVID now. But there's at least, there's well over 100, let's put it to you, that way. And uh, I added two new topics. COVID's linked to diabetes. That's a new one I just added. And I have now added one on COVID vaccination. I went through the miscellaneous category and found, you know what, there's enough there that that warrants a uh, section of its own. I think I might also add something for kids as well as studies from kids are coming out. I know there's a few of them in the miscellaneous section. And if I did a Google search, I'm sure a whole bunch would pop up. And I think that does warrant its own section. So down the line, we'll get to that as well. But yes, my website is datareport.info. If you want to look and find out something, you can go on my website and, you know, you can look up some information. All right, let's take a look today at what is going on with air quality across the U.S. And you'll see here, we are still having poor air qualities from them. Wildfires that are ongoing in Texas, they're record-breaking at this point. They are really spreading out of control. They've even spread into Oklahoma now. So this air quality, if the wind direction is correct, until something happens with that, whether it be in the form of rain or they get the upper hand on them, which I don't think is going to happen because there's no rain really in the forecast for places that really need it. Um, 
yeah, this is going to be a problem for quite some time, especially when the wind is correct. Right now, Chicago, you're in the raft of it. If we get a southwest wind, it'll come here into the middle Atlantic. Then we also see there is an area of concern on the west coast right now. You know, the usual suspects where fireplaces are ongoing. It's a massive blizzard that just hit portions of California. Yeah, up to 10 plus feet of snow have fallen in some portions of the California mountains. Absolutely crazy. At some point this week, I will get to a climate update, a weather update on my weather channel. It's climate data report. I'll have a link for it down below. We've got to get that 199 videos up to the 200th. Uh, video on that channel. I think it's time that that happens, and hopefully I get to do that at some point this week. All right, taking a look here. Filled up yesterday. Slightly more EMS incidents than the previous Sunday. 723 EMS incidents, but again, that's not a concerning level. 800 or greater is where I start to get concerned. Let's do a live look in with the suburbs. Whoa. Okay, this is Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. When I looked at this just about 15 minutes ago, there were not this many calls. And I'm seeing cardiac arrest in Springfield, Montgomery County. I'm seeing a ton of cardiac emergencies. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five different calls that are for cardiac issues. We're also seeing stroke. We're seeing respiratory emergencies. Yeah, it's really busy in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania right now. Not a good thing. Now let's take a look at Chester County, Pennsylvania. We can see there's quite a few heart problem calls right now. One two, at least three of them, respiratory problems. Yeah, there's a lot of calls to be had in the burps right now. We'll have to see if that translates to anything big in the city of Philadelphia tomorrow. All right, now let's take a look at what is going on over in New Jersey. And in New Jersey, we do see that hospitalizations, and I have to refresh this just to make sure it is up to date, 501, that was the up-to-date number. Okay, 501 people in the hospital. Again, that number has been dropping Slightly slower lately, you can see here. Hasn't been dropping as much over the past week, but today is down from uh, yesterday's number as well as uh, the day before. For 24 people on a ventilator in the ICU, 63, and discharges. There were 77 discharges. Walgreens, I'll refresh this. Maybe it has updated, and if it did, I'll give you some information, but nope, it's still showing a 17.3, which is from last week. You can see that right here, which is uh, February 26th. Let's take a look now at some wastewater data around the country. We'll just do how about four sites. That seemed fair enough to you, and we'll take a look today. But we come down to Washington, D.C. Let's see what's going on in our capital region of the United States. High levels of COVID still reported. And you can see here, it's not really rising at this time. You can see RSV is dropping. It's medium. Influenza A is kind of flat at this time. Influenza B, the trajectory has been up overall. But take a look at this. It was starting to drop. Now, most recent update went back up again. We'll see. It could correct back down. Taking a look here at HMPV, not much of an issue. Norovirus hmm, was starting to drop. Now, maybe it's starting to go up again. That's something we'll have to watch. And taking a look now at hepatitis A, there are some detections of that. All right, continuing on here, let's take a look at three more wastewater sites. Let's come down to, how about we come down to Columbus, Georgia. Let's see what's going on there. I can't recall last time we clicked on this wastewater site. COVID is high at this time, but holding steady. RSV is dropping ever so slightly. Influenza A is dropping. Influenza B is slightly dropping, or was. Looks like it's leveled off and maybe starting to rise once again. Norovirus is flat at this time. No MPOX issues and a few detections of hepatitis A. All right, let's do one site in the center portion of the country then we will do one site out on the west coast how about we come closer to let's see here where do we want to go all right let's come how about we come up here to nebraska there actually is something i want to take a look at in the lincoln area let's see i'm curious are there levels dropping remember back in february they were having a slight rise look at that now they're starting to drop once again rsv slightly rising just slightly not a big rise but just a slight rise influenza a not much of an issue influenza b uh oh yeah wow rapidly rising for that norovirus it looks like it's trying to drop on the most recent update but it did have about one or two updates that were upward so we'll have to watch could that uh, correct to going up again hepatitis a yes some detections of that and pox not much of an issue now let's go out to the west coast we do want to take a look in california and i say how about we go way to the west in california how about ontario california this is like just west of uh 
LA area, like the western portion of it. And we can see here, COVID, it's low at this time. RSV is medium. Influenza A is low. Influenza B, it's showing high, but quite frankly, the levels are the same as influenza A. Again, I don't understand that. Norovirus is low at this time, but all the same medium, but I'm not seeing it rise like we're seeing in other parts of the United States. Mpox, not much of an issue. And just a few detections of hepatitis A, and they go back to January. So there's no recent detections there. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at New York State now. New York State, 980 new cases. That's all. Not a very big number. That's a good thing. It's continuing to drop. It's below 1,000 cases. Hospitalizations, 1,047. 132 people in the ICU at this time. Now taking a look at the most recent flu data, and we can see very high levels still exist in portions of Ohio, portions of Arkansas, uh, Nebraska, Michigan, and even in New Mexico, there's still very high levels. Some states still have high levels as well. Look at that, New York City, not a state, but hey, New York City, still high levels. Massachusetts, Tennessee, Kentucky, South Carolina, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Iowa, North Dakota, Wyoming, all still on high levels. Some places are at minimal, but not as many. Look at California. That now jumped up to moderate. I don't believe that was at moderate last week. Let's go back. Can we go back to the previous week? Okay, yes, they were at moderate level the previous week, but you get the idea here. It has trended up a little bit in portions of California. Remember, they were in just a lower shade of moderate a few weeks ago. Now they are in orange, so that's something we'll have to watch. Maybe they have a back season surge there. All right, one last thing we want to take a look at today, and that is the latest variant. Let's see here. Here's the latest uh, variant data. I know I have it here somewhere. Here we go. JN.1. It's at 92.3%. JN.1.13 is at 3.3%. JN.1.18 is at 1.8%. These are the two variants that I want you to pay attention to. We'll have to see if they rise any further. And it wouldn't surprise me. We won't get an update this week. We'll get another one next week. It would not surprise me if we see yet another variant pop up on the map or on the chart here. It's that's just the way it is. The list is going to continuously grow, and I think what's going to happen now is we might find ourselves in JN.1 subvariant soup. Remember how we have all these other variants that at one time there were a lot more of them that had a percentage? I think we're going to see a lot of JN.1 subvariants down the line. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's pandemic update. We'll have another pandemic update again tomorrow. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Monday afternoon. Thanks for watching.